This is my Arduino greenhouse project. I've seen a lot of greenhouses online there, so I thought I'd put mine on there. You can see I got the Mega there, the APC220 wireless module, and the power supply right there. I've basically uh, AP or the uh, Arduino just runs outputs to transistors. Transistors run outputs to these relays. I've got a fan control. Uh, water control and uh, lighting control. Um, the water valve is right there. It's just a, actually uh, electric over hydraulic. I got Princess Auto, and that runs a irrigation system. And then the, the fan, of course, comes on if the temperature is too high or if the humidity is too high. Uh, the watering function comes on three times a day for whatever I set the timing to. And you just go in and manually turn on these here. See the fan automatically opens up a louver on the on the fan there. It's a Princess Auto special. I got a photo eye right there. It tells whether it's night or day. The set points on the humidity change and the, the watering function is actually based off of a, a counter that starts when it uh, gets daylight. Right now the uh, the lights basically come on when the temperature drops down too low. I live in northern Alberta and it gets cold up here. So yeah, when the temperature drops, the lights come on and they're actually heat lamps. Um, yeah, see the see the fan there. Um, the irrigation system is just some uh, uh, droppers on all the plants here and sprinklers. You can see the uh, up here I have drippers as well for all these uh, these hangers and the APC system outputs wirelessly to a laptop I have in my house that runs a data acquisition program and you can see I've got the light, the day seconds counter for my watering function, uh, fan status whether it's off or on, uh, you can change all these, I can change it to a light status or whatever I want or watering status and you can see it's charting as well so during the day or during the night it got cold, uh, it starts to climb up in temperature, um, the fan kicks on. This time was obviously from humidity because the temperature wasn't that hot. Then up here the fan starts coming off and on to regulate against the uh, temperature and the humidity and you can see every time the fan kicks in the uh, humidity will drop down and it kind of regulates the temperature there. So either the temperature or the humidity will yeah, kick in the, the fan. So yeah, there you go. That's what you can do with the Arduino. A lot of neat stuff.